for illumined life to be birthed into form. I am the truth. I am the life. Hello there everyone and welcome to this video with me here today in which I actually want to talk about the current condition on our planet which is not a separate condition existing outside of what is already happening because as you know everything is sort of a simulation um, that has a higher reason a higher purpose the bigger picture as we call it so the current what people call health crisis which has sort of managed to spread around the planet around our globe so quickly um, is sort of something that a lot of people are dealing with right now and I sort of was called to put my little droplet into the collective way of processing this and understanding this so as you know I actually explain everything through the perspective of life force and life force mastery which is the understanding of how spiritualization process of our life force works in relation to um, impulses that come straight from the heart of creation where these higher aspects or impulses of life force are constantly streaming through all of the creation and everything in life as you know comes into being through sacred union which is in a way a higher aspect of the hero's gamos nature of, of the aspects of divine creatorship so these aspects as you know are always giving life to new versions of themselves new extensions but when it comes to a certain aspect of density and right now we're living that as humans in this 3d reality which has a component of it that is also stimulated reality a reality that is told to us from the outside it is being narrated outside of just our inner experience right so we're going to be talking about this as well because it all as you know relates um it all is interconnected so in this aspect as humans we need to understand that as humans we're no longer able to separate ourselves well divide ourselves into uh, bigger aspects they create new extensions of life uh, which is how creation comes through levels of descent or what we call sometimes in many cases the division of soul aspects giving birth through different aspects of that sacred cosmic union when it comes to the 3d human the way we exist right now there is a minimum amount of how much that is available to us which now as you know how my light team or my light family guides me is a creation of a new human who is capable of creating further divisions and bringing new birth through their own illumined union birth within their own body or physical human template however at the normal level of processing which is still the status quo the collective of the human nature is that's not able right it is not the way life um is designed so from this perspective of our human consciousness the human is able to create or co-create with that life not birth new aspects of life but co-create with those aspects so as you know we can co-create with that within divine trinity of life which is a co-creation with divinity or godhead or um, the trion nature of, of source and through life force infusions and knowing ourselves as an extension right a vehicle that is directly not just connected but susceptible to that higher streaming of life force and constantly cultivating that it is very important because that is the basis for everything that is the foundational principle of life if we don't understand that we can have any kind of esoterical you no know, teaching and education but it won't work for us because the fundamental principles of how life force functions not just in this universe but in the creation of all life then that is our base that's kind of like the basis so when we work with understanding ourselves as a creature of not just like a human design but also this beautiful creature that came out of this what we call is the cosmic union and applying ourselves through it by increasing the level of our life force um, natural ability and affinity but also conductivity through our life um, embodiment right right now we know it is as our current body or the body avatar however you may wish to call it so 
There is also an aspect, like I said, when we cannot create anymore within divine trinity of life. So we start to either negate an aspect of ourselves, which we sort of kind of divide ourselves from, or we then call the separate or the fallen aspect of the experience instead of being fully in our illumined knowing and co-creation with that divine trinity of life. Um, as well as when we go deeper into what darkness truly means and creating aspects of life that are against life instead of pro-life giving nature that is just, it's divine, right? We all know that. Then we sort of stop creating within this divine trinity and that is sort of like how those aspects of life that separate them, themselves from this holistic experience of understanding cosmic union and how life is generated through divisions of several aspects of these unions. If you don't know anything about this, I highly recommend you to read some of the Amora Kuan Yin's work. Um, and she's she was a beautiful writer of these things like from the higher nature and perspective. One of these books is called uh, Affinity and two other books are um, Pleiadian um, what's it called the tantric pleiadian workbook and uh, the other one uh, just the pleiadian workbook so that's highly recommendable for you to start understanding um, the principle through which you were even birthed into this life as you know most people don't have that understanding so whatever they're doing in their life um, is not just like aimless pursuit we all have a certain aim right a focus through to toward which we're aiming ourselves and uh, sort of how we're applying ourselves but this is more like when you have that high understanding, everything in your life becomes dedicated to that. And this is what I call the path of a lumen union. It just becomes uh, the solemn principle of the guiding uh, life force in your life. Now, as you know, most people don't have that awareness. And even people who call themselves being a part of a certain spiritual community, esoteric community, whatever kind of community, yoga community, it doesn't matter. Uh, even these people, right? Because there is still an aspect of forgetfulness in most people right now so in that state of not being fully awake to the divine principles of life we are still exploring ourselves although collectively speaking galactically speaking this cycle is sort of ending and we're entering into the self-mastering aspect as the hum humanity um, in totality as a collective um, this is all explained in the books but now I want to talk about what makes us so susceptible to the creations that are a part of the outside world or that which is not perhaps our own sovereign understanding of creation when you lose a sense or you have any sort of um, blind spot in relation to what creation truly is and how life comes into being and how you can generate life principles within yourself you eventually become susceptible to that which is enforced or just infringed upon you in a way and that's what most of us are living nowadays that's how most of the humanity is uh, you know kind of like living their status quo reality so when we have these situations like now this health crisis with this virus what is happening is we become immediately responsive or even reactive in most cases in most cases right a majority of people um, to that which is being told to us or narrated to us by the governments institutions uh, the status quo, this is just how it is, this is happening, this is the number of people who are dying, this is how the virus is spreading. Um, and we're constantly being told aspects, but what we forget here, most of the times when we don't understand creation, even the virus has its own source of creation, right? Like everything does, it, it's seeking out its template, its blueprint for the purpose that it, it needs to or it wants to fulfill because everything in creation is designed to fulfill its purpose. So in relation to that, it's us needing to go back to our own core essence. And I teach these things on my Illumin Union page uh, it's my work page on Patreon and we're doing these things in order to increase the level of this awareness in our own embodiment and understanding what Christ the union truly is because when you are in Christ union you're able to merge your essence with any other aspect of life because all aspects of life have their essence even a virus so when you are really truly aware like consciously present with life not just saying well I've, I've done my research on this but that's still a research right it's still based on what's maybe someone else has been researching about 
um, or whatever. You know, when I tune into the essence of something, I do it myself and I ask my Elohim family of light to help me and to bring me higher perspective. So when I first tuned into this whole virus scenario, I just couldn't feel anything. It just felt like another story being told. And although I'm not negating that there's aspects of those carriers of physicality that responds to that and that virus as a microorganism being real, you know, it doesn't negate the fact that this is also, it has a bigger story around it. It has its evolutionary nature and purpose, just like your life does or anyone else's life. So um, it doesn't matter, let's say, who created it, whether it was a governmental thing, whether the virus was created in this lab underground somewhere, or whether it was truly transmitted through its own biological evolution. Because even though viruses to me are not like just biological, for me, they're kind of like half artificial intelligence that's how I'm being shown it's like because they're able to uh, sort of create a new aspect of, of their living system by two coming together creating a third um, offspring and it's they're, they're just kind of creating new aspects of themselves that's how we as humans then because something is so new we don't have yet our immunology is not as developed enough to follow that through so that's why people get sick and especially people get sick because their bodies are not in, re in relation with this divine nature of us being a constant conduit of life force, which is always beyond anything that is already being created from that narrative of Holy Spirit life force. So the aspect beyond all essences is that pure life force. It's the living sustenance of all life. But when we tune into different aspects of life, right, we get so into that that we forget to look around it. Like what's the bigger essence? What's its evolutionary purpose right now? How does it relate to me? And how can I respond consciously by doing my own inner divine principles of life force uh, essence? Um, how can I do this work within me? So most people, of course, as you know, they react and they immediately go into this contracted mode. The contracted mode, it makes you no longer basically susceptible to receiving any sort of inflow, higher essence guidance. And when I do that, it's just like I merge with the essence and I feel in my body the impulses. How does that feel? Is it even real? What's the story behind it, right? Because the thing is, as my life uh, light family showed me today, is they told me that everything has its evolutionary, evolutionary nature to fulfill. Just like in the past, if we look like billions of years ago into our Earth's record history, viruses had a totally different meaning and purpose back then. Uh, because they sort of like they were lock and key right we, we even studied that in high school right how viruses are created according to that principle uh, the locket and the key so they carried specific codes of pushing life forward like evolving life forward and they were crucial components of the evolution of life however as you well know the human um, no longer able to at this level of, uh, of third density and in this third dimension living in this existence It's no longer able to create further divisions of experiencing cosmic union birth But it's just co-creating with that which was already birth and what we already know this is life This is this density these creatures exist like but somewhere along the lines These aspects of life were birthed through cosmic union into life um, and the nature of those humans who are becoming more illumined through their own knowing of divine principles, we are able to access this at the essence level once again. So what my life family told me today is that the moment you can merge your essence with any other aspect of life through its essence, you will also know its destinational pathway, which means you will know the purpose that it needs to fulfill without like, let's say your mind consciousness needing to know like, aha, uh -huh, this is exactly this and that, but your essence will sort of kind of like create a merger. It's not a download. It's sort of like a merger with this higher understanding. And therefore you will kind of be in the space of already understanding that fulfillment because of that you will be in that potential you will merge with it through your own inner union process and you will be at one man with that understanding so you will no longer be susceptible as one as as one of the possible carriers of that pathway forward so let's say this virus um, and any other virus right um, even though there is a purpose behind it that let's say it's not just evolutionary but a part of it is a control 
So recently I saw this beautiful video from Carolyn Corey from Omnium Universe. She creates beautiful audios and meditations sometimes uh, and her focus is more like mind mastery and reprogramming the brain and higher levels of consciousness coming through. Our perspective as my light team is more around the life force template and how to co-create uh, with the life force giving principle. But it's it's all enmeshed, right? We all have our specific um, missions. Uh, but it's all just one basically understanding, just different approaches, different aspects, right? Different focal awarenesses. So um, she was also saying how it was in a way put there as in testing of where people are and how fast they can respond. It's like if you put something in a database, how quick, quickly it would be able to spread which is in a way also toying with humanity. It's like we're constantly as humanity being experimented on. And this is not the only aspect of what we consider threatening to our lives. We have daily chemtrailing here every day. We rarely have a beautifully, purely sunny day nowadays, especially in the last, let's say three years, it's been really intense. Um, so there are several of these things that we never address daily. As you know, everything sort of has its crescendo and then it sort of wanes out and sometimes it comes back again to be revisited and then again and again. But there's always new aspects that are being triggered and sometimes even intentionally tested on humanity in terms of seeing, you know, because in the matrix, everything is sort of designed. But for us to become an independent co-creator, even when we know that the status quo principles apply and we're still in this bubble, right, which Carolyn also talks about in her materials, it's like we still have a completely sovereign choice to be our own individual creators. Even when we're in that bubble, even when there's aspects of life completely created like for us, for the benefit of the whole. It's like it is what it is. But for us to access those aspects, we need to start working again with life force and understanding of how to become completely life force infused, conscious conduits, Christed beings that are able to merge with any essence, because when you merge with the essence level, like I've shared before, you're able to grasp the understanding that is like of higher nature uh, of consciousness, and it just becomes a part of you. It bypasses sort of like the brain aspect that is the understanding like rational, right? Rationalizing that and analyzing like, but I need to know exactly where it started and who did this and what, because we all do that. You know, most of the, um, how do we call this, uh, conspiracy theories, right, are built in the way that people need to dig very much into like physical aspect of where something began. The work we do here through Life Force Principles is more like we're, we're seeing the essence of things, like where was the origin? And knowing that origin also brings you to the illumin aspect of that once it already reaches its evolutionary potential, which means going back to the source of our origin. So even when we began as higher beings and then we had our own droplets in different aspects of life, we eventually end up back um, reaching that higher self potential, although there's several aspects of what we call the higher self and different aspects of dimensionality and mergers of those cosmic unions that were already created. And you're just then reaching that potential. You're like climbing back forth. You're like making your pathway to that and therefore you need to understand that every aspect of life from the tiniest microorganism to however things are structured even when it is still within the matrix within the bubble it still has this evolutionary pathway to be fulfilled so these aspects of let's say fragments of souls that sort of became open to that and saying yes i want to be the carrier for this to fall through these aspects are actually the ones that will eventually caught a virus if an actual viral virus truly exists or whatever this is just one example this is a beautiful example to see how this is uh, expanding but it's always like this when you merge with the higher aspect consciously you already understand it that's why you're sort of no longer of a racial match you're no longer the one as the carrier but even when you connect to yourself you already know it's like, I already know whether something is for me or not, whether that's something that will caught on for me or not. I just know it. It's just the essence merger always tells you the truth. But we are different beings. We live through different trajectories of life. That's why we would caught different influences during um, our lifetimes. So one of my messages is always 
Um, here is my own little deposit in this um, stream of what is now very much the focus of the human experience is just go deeper for everything like you know there's a lot of people who are very passionately talking about these things like people don't fear you know that's what they want you to think it's all structure for control you know closing down borders things like that what will happen you know events going dead tourism you know what will be the cost of all that and we're wanting always to know yeah but as humans we need to know what's the higher plan for this what do they want from us you know we don't always need to understand how things are playing out in order to be merged with the essence. And the essence of life force always tells us that everything in life has its own time, its place, its, its aspect of, of, of creation that needs to unfold because eventually it's all kind of coming back into union. We just don't see it, especially when there are cycles of coming apart, you know, even in our own lives, when we experience cycles, when li our lives are feeling like they're falling apart. It's very difficult for us to imagine how once they're going to come together again because it feels rather chaotic and unknown and unstructured and it's very uncomfortable for us as human beings to experience that um, but this higher level of life force is always this trust this merger with essence it's not like that trust on a whim like that new age you trust like yeah it's fine it doesn't concern me no it's like pushing it aside and saying it doesn't even concern you a conscious aspect of a life force master is you're absolutely aware of everything. You don't like push things away and say, ugh, it's not gonna happen to me because I'm so much in the light. It's not like that. It's simply always bringing whatever aspect of life back into you. Like we've talked about this before, how life force simply wants to merge with everything through us. So we need to devour things. So devouring the, vir the virus doesn't mean you need to catch this bug it means you need to tune into the essence and ask it for its purpose and thank it and just see it as an aspect of life whoever designed it whether it was a natural evolution of viruses themselves whether it was humanly assisted through co-creation in a lab somewhere somewhere in some mountains or somewhere down below the earth's core um truly truly what matters is bringing that aspect back. Like every aspect needs to come into its illumination through us. And when you do that, you first need to do that by bringing your own aspects of life into Lumen Union. And then we also, as Life Force Masters, work around with our environment, like aspects that are kind of coming into reality, whether directly or indirectly, it doesn't matter. Because our life is connected, whether, whether you can physically touch, you know, I'm touching this tree now or not, or a person you're in contact with or not, like you are in conscious merge. And anything we sort of resist pulls us even further apart from coming back into that Illumin Union. Illumin Union is not just two people coming together in what we call here as Gamos, it's just one aspect. But there were all aspects of life co-created synonymously, like in parallel. And we're kind of bringing like, that conscious birth back into its core. And it's sort of like a lengthy process. It's not gonna happen during the course of just like one of our lifetimes. Um, and it's consecutive and it keeps on going and evolving, but we need to do our part that's right before us right here now. And if that is a part of our reality right now, that's where a part of our focus also needs to be. But I really recommend uh, that to be done consciously without panic and any sorts of um, you know, falling for the first thing or the first information that falls into your lap. Always go into the source of consciousness and ask for the evolutionary nature and purpose of this to be revealed to you through your essence without you necessarily needing to know. You can do a simple visualization meditation for that. Invoke your guides, always ascended beings, illumined beings, your own light team, and aspects of yourself that are already illumined. So I hope that makes some sense. If you wanna be a part of a bigger work that I do on Patreon called the Lumen Union, you can join at any time, at any rate. There's, as, as always, you know, there's three levels of, you know, you joining or just become a member of the community. And until next time, please be safe, take care of yourself. Of course, physical care is also important, but the root of it all has to be at the essence level first. So. Dear Life Force Mastery work, uh, because we all need to be as pure conduits, as transparent and as moving, you know, as possible, because the generation of flow in the human bodies is now 
one of the top priorities because we're going to continue facing these challenges as years progress towards in our human evolution. So take care of yourselves um, and get all the resources internally and externally that would match up to this experience of your own Illumin ascension and of course physical um, ascension that is is all one. So thank you for watching and staying tuned in. I love you all. Bye. Magical.